Hi, in this lecture I'm going to show you how to use the RBE node or return by exception. The RBE node is available down here under functions. So what it does is that it will only pass changes to its output, changes of its input to its output. If its input does not change, then it will not forward it to the output. So it's easier to demonstrate. Let's deploy this flow and I've got an inject node here sending a one and another inject node sending a two to my RBE node. So first I'm going to click on the one on the, the first debug node and you can see that its value did pass through to the output. Now I'm going to click on the same node again and again and again you can see up here it says that this node is injected or is triggered but nothing reaches the output and that's because and that's because there is no change between the uh, existing uh, value and the new value that is held inside the RBE node and therefore it does not pass through but if I send it a 2 which is a different value you can see that that is passing through now I'm going to send a few more 2s again and none of them passes through I'm going to go back to 1 and that is now passing through and because we've got different values coming through the RBE node, those are being passed through. All right, so uh, it's pretty simple the way that it works. Uh, there's not that much uh, configuration wise, at least in its properties. Um, you can see that you've got a few choices of how you would like this node to handle change. The simplest one is to just block change unless the value actually changes. So uh, I am actually using this specific node in my project so that my flow uh, terrarium controller will only tell the Arduino to start and stop the pump motor if its previous uh, instruction was opposite to the current instruction. So that way I'm, I'm just saving a little bit of bandwidth there and making the process a bit more efficient.